Well, 2-1, season is over. Finally. One more big game, but that's that's not in the Premier League, that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But the Premier League curtain has fallen upon mm -hmm. us, Marcel. Yes. Old Trafford has been a fortress. And we finished third. After everything all said and done, third, Champions League qualification, obviously, and, a tro and one trophy in the bag. Hopefully another. Um, what a season, you know, what a season. Um, to come from where we've come from, from the start of the season, to progress in the fashion that we have. So many difficult games throughout this season, but like you said, Flex, this, this place has been an absolute fortress. Um, and this game in particular, you know, it, it, it was kind of a weird pace to start. Weird. Um, but then obviously once that penalty, you know, once David De Gea, listen, and I always give the credit. Listen, and I always, I always give the credit. I always give it, but once David De Gea made that save, it galvanised the team. We we changed, we changed, and our performance was we we it was top. And and I have to say, well done to him. You know, made some good saves off off off. I can't remember who else he made the saves off, but he was good today. And and well done to him. Well done to yourself. And and hopefully you continue to do that. Did you see him? Did you see him? No, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't see the speech at the end because oh, I, I've got it on my phone. <laughs> why, why why didn't you see it? Because there's business. Yes, yes. <laughs> There's business to be done. There's business still to be done. Oh, no, obviously, listen. There's still but to be done. listen, I, bro, I could not believe that he saved that. Yeah. I, That's the I, first I, one in ages. I think. 100%. Yeah, yeah. But even the distribution, everything about his game today looked crisp. Everything. Yeah. Pardon? Yes. Yeah, he has to. He has to. Will he be right next season? No. He's proved he's got Golden Glove. No. Yeah. Distribution, distro's all right. Golden when, Glove. When he plays with not Maguire and Lindelof, because yeah. look, Maguire gave the ball away that even led to that penalty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When he plays with not him, fault. yeah, that's not his fault. De Gea's been all right. Yeah, he's yeah. been all right. So anyway, Maguire's there. Yeah, I do, again, but no, but <laughs> nah, I'm not trying to make it about that. But yeah. what a penalty save, though. But that was when the game changed. Yes, that was, and I'm and I'm so glad that David did do that though, because look, without going into the inquest of should he be, forget all that, because yeah. it's positive right now. He's got the golden glove, and it's like on the on the day where he's gonna get his trophy, mm -hmm. he pulled out like a bit of individual brilliance yeah. to save a penalty. We need that for next week, by the way. You know that yeah. kind of mentality in that level. We need that for next week. He's yeah. been fabulous. He was controlling the game. There's minutes where Maguire's trying to tell him, "Oh, quiet, play out." He's like, "No, we're going yeah, on." Did you see him? He said, "Get out <laughs> no, there!" And everyone started clapping. Just yeah. that, I want that kind of. Yeah. You have to be a leader on the team, yeah. and if you know, I think Maguire's played his last game. You're gonna be the the, the vice captain. We saw that I think against uh, um, against Chelsea when Bruno comes off, it's you're the captain. You're going to have to make the executive decisions. And, and he done that in abundance today. He was really good, you know, yeah. and, and the back line followed behind him. You know, Lindelof is just a really, really cool player, you know. He's just transformed. Yeah. Well, I don't know if he's transformed or he's just been allowed to do what he can do best because you don't want to get carried away. But I'm seeing a really aggressive, strong, calm, composed centre half, yeah. which I've always seen a composed one. But that aggressiveness that he's added in, obviously Mitrovic is going to try and put it about and that, yeah, but yeah. he's so willing to engage any striker. Yeah, and, and he's winning clear head, like headers off the line, yeah. lots of headers off the line these days, marking runs, he's just really good. It's, it's a, it's a toss-up between maybe having Luke Shaw as a left centre-back for me, because I think he's the one to lock up Harlan and then Varane, but I think, you know... Balance of play at left-back yeah. as well. You, yeah. I know, and then maybe you've got a you're weaker with Malassia out there, but Malassia was good today. today. Yeah. He was good today, solid, aggressive. The low maybe a little less so, but I think Wamba Saka needs the rest. You know, he, he's, he needs to be there for that game against City. Mm. Um, the team played well. The team played well once we got into it. Rashinelli scores a rifling free kick mm. after 20 minutes or so, and, and a couple other chances were created from Rashi. I think Ganacho, Ganacho should have played in Rashi as well in the first half. You know, there was a moment where we were playing in the 4 4 2 structure when we we're trying to press high, but we're, we're, we're trapping them. We're trapping Fulham and Ganacho maybe should have passed it to him. And we were saying, I think we've always said that Ganacho's a 20 minutes. When he starts, he yeah, st it just still just shows that he's a little bit he's not quite ready yet, which is completely understandable. He's had an, um, he's had an unbelievable season. Yeah. That's earned him a new contract. Yeah. But you can just see. Little little movements, little little things that he does, which is expected at his age and at this, at this stage of his development where Ten Hag's right, where he, he hasn't quite got it yet. But yeah. it's going to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to come. Yeah. It's going to come. He looks like a top player. Um, struggled a little bit with Tete today. Yeah. But just, and that's what he's up against, a really quick, quick strong, player, yeah. Yeah, right yeah. back. Quick, strong, aggressive, a bit more physical than himself. Exactly. But um, Casemiro ran this game. Casemiro ran this game. Um, How many passes between the lines did he do? Did you see like so many passes between the lines? So many like picking up possession in the right areas. And when you give him time and space, it, I know I say like I don't really want him to be on the ball, no. 
But I do. Yeah, yeah. Like when he's got time and space, he could just pick. He could just pick passes out. We. I don't expect <laughs> to see this side of game. This this side yeah. of his game. Like you know, we, it's normally been you know Kroos and Modric, but he can play passes through the thirds. You know, and you can tr rely on him to do that. Um, Fred as well today. Fred's playing line splitting. Assist. Yeah, slicing Assist. up the pitch. You know. <laughs> Getting ready for Sunday. Yeah, listen, he needs to follow KDB everywhere. If KDB goes to the bathroom, Fred goes to the bathroom. <laughs> if KDB goes to the toilet, yeah. Fred's going to the toilet. And that's why I'm glad that he had this performance and he needed to get his feet ready for that and, and be prepared for that. So, you know, deserved his break off the pitch. Nearly got Rashi in as well in the second yeah. half a couple times. And, and I think Bruno played well as well, but, you know, could have played a little bit better in terms of, you know, Wasteful with the ball, very wasteful with the ball, but he always brings up something. He always produces something. So there's more, there's more, there's more work to be done. There's still business to be done for me. I don't, you know, I know the season's over in terms of the Premier League. Yeah, the Premier League. We're only talking about the Premier League because obviously we've got the, the big one coming up. You know up. what I mean? There's, there's still business to be done. So I'm glad that Ten Hag left the, 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 the conversation short and sweet. Uh, what did you think to that, actually? You know, it kind of got everyone going and, like hear, you said, short and sweet. I could hear it from outside, unfortunately. I oh, you know, was outside? Yeah, outside. What was you doing? What I don't know. You? I don't know. I just he, thought... He I, forgot. He yeah. forgot. Yeah. He forgot. Yeah. He forgot. Yeah. He forgot. Yeah. He forgot. But I, I just left it short. <laughs> but I can hear it. I can hear the energy. I could, I could feel it. You that's know it happened. and you, yeah. yeah. That's good enough for me right now. I've got the video. I'll send it Thank to you. you. Thank you. <laughs> and who was your man in the match today? Um, um, I, I want to give a, a, a mention to Sancho. You know, is he is he coming into a bit of form at the right time? Is he just showing a few signs that he can settle down? Or another player that has a point to prove it uh, on 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 when we play City, one of those players that you know was rejected by City, and and needs to come in there and show that he's got the level, um, and played well today. His game, his second half was was good. His first half was good. He was really good today. I'm gonna give it though to to Cass. I think I have to give it to yeah. Casemiro again. You know, a leader, a real definition of a leader. You know, solid performance and, and, and it's been very consistent. It just needs to sort out the tackling situation. Mm. But um, overall, really good. Ten Hag, before you go, because I think back to when we went out there, mm. you know, to get a oh, look of him and, yeah. and you almost kind of fell in love with the whole, you know, the beautiful. whole vibe. And I know you really took a lot from that. Yeah. And we said, wow, remember we were standing outside that stadium and it was all going crazy Lens, with flares. And, oh, the and energy. It, it isn't quite that. Yeah, <laughs> it isn't quite that. Exactly. We, we, can, we can long for them days and dream for them days and have every confidence that Ten Hag can deliver a Premier League title here, which would be obviously stupidly hard. But how do you assess how he's done in his first year and how happy are you with him? He's a Man United manager, man. Attack, attack, attack is what our DNA is. And he plays the strongest team every single opportunity. Today. <laughs> Look at today. I mean, he rested a couple, but we're still pretty strong. And we want to win the game. Yeah. You know, he's, he's not, we don't want to be lethargic. Yes, the players have got an issue with mentality, but every single player looks mentally stronger this season. Every single player you can look at and say has improved this season. He, the way he's handled all the situations throughout the season, you know, with certain players, it's been really, really good, man. So this is a Man United manager and, and he wants to, he understands the, 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 the culture of this club. And, and I'm really happy that, you know, he's, 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 our, he's our gaffer, man. And, and I think everyone trusts him, man. Uh, um, I, and, and hopefully he can do something next week because it's going to be a difficult task, man. Can we do it? I, I believe so. It has to be a counter-attack. I don't yep. think you can go, you know, fire for fire against them yet. It, one day we will. I had no doubt in my mind. One day we will be going to, to, to the shit he had and we will be looking to play football. But it has to be within respect. And like I said, it's... Wembley, remember? Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm talking yeah. about, oh, I'm talking yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah. in leagues, oh, right. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember talking about the other club that was meant yeah. to win the league this season and saying that they just luckily, <laughs> we, they luckily got the 3-2. So I know that the top, the top four teams, we will be attacking them, but this season it's been a bit, he's had to deal with, you know, a lot of situations with the mm. quality of players and, and manage that. And he's a fantastic manager, man. And, and, and he will continue to do great things at this club. Big up, man. Nice one.